All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about a question that got asked on the channel about how to use RS Links Classic with Studio 5000 version 32. They were having an issue with the conductivity and basically they couldn't get online with the process. Uh, so we're gonna talk about how to use the exact same thing they were using, which is an AB um, ethernet driver which in RS Links Classic. So we're gonna use that exact same thing instead of using the virtual backplane, even though I do have my virtual backplane set up. Um, this is the case of what we're going to be using is Studio 5000 version 32 because that is the exact same thing they were using. So, real quick, using uh, RS Links Classic, uh, if you're using Lite or OEM or Professional, uh, when it comes down to it, you should be able to see your connections. Okay, so just keep in mind if you don't see your connections, the very first thing you need to do is make sure you have conductivity to your devices. All right, so use RS Links Classic first to make sure you have conductivity. Now, when you're doing that, if you do have conductivity, I'm gonna show you the best practices on what I do to get online, and when I have a problem, how do I resolve that problem? All right, so keep in mind, we do actually have our, our um, RS Links Classic browser, um, driver browsing right now. Um, you can come over here, you can actually click, and uh, click auto browse right here where you can refresh everything. You can turn auto browsing on and off. I always keep it on just to make sure that I have live connections and make sure everything is good. All right, so once you're in there right, and you have everything done on RS Links Classic, uh, come over here to Studio 5000. And when you're in your Studio 5000 and you want to go online or you want to download or upload in whatever case you may have, you want to go to communications. Okay, there's a tab up top called communications and then there's who active. Use who, who active, right? So I open up who active. This is gonna be the exact same thing I'm seeing in RS Links Classic because that is the software I'm currently using. Meaning if I come over here, I can change my software type if I was not, if I did not have a program open, I could change my software type to RS Links Classic or use uh, factory talk links. In my case, I chose to use RS Links Classic because that is the natural protocol that has been used for the uh, quite some time with either using uh, Studio 5000 or RS Links, uh, RS Logics 5000. So we're gonna go to who, uh, again, who active, open up the communications tab. We're gonna go to our driver, which is the current one we had open where we have conductivity. I'll show you this. Um, on my other driver, I have no conductivity. So you don't see any any drivers or any actual devices. This is very important because if you tried to use this driver, obviously you would have you wouldn't be successful. You'd have a problem. You don't have conductivity. So the very first thing you need to do is make sure you have conductivity. Again, so using this driver, we do have conductivity. All right, so we're going to come up here. We should see the exact same thing in what we we pulled up under communications, who active, and then our driver that we chose to use. All right, so we should see the exact same thing. Now I'm gonna scroll down to my actual processor and then get to my backplane. And then you can see I have my processor right here. Now I have several different things I can do over here on the, the right-hand side, which is go online, upload, download, up, uh, update firmware, close, help. Uh, I can set the controller path. Um, if you don't see any of these things, like if, if uh, say these buttons are grayed out, okay? If the buttons were grayed out, what you need to do is close and then close the file and then reopen the file and then try to uh, do the exact same process, right? So I'm not gonna bore you with shutting down the file and open up the file. It's basically all you do is close your file, your, your Studio 5000 uh, file, and then open it back up and then go to who active and then start the process over, right? Go over here and then at that point, you should see the ability to actually uh, go online if you're on the processor and the processor is live and there's no communication issues then you should be able to have these buttons right here that says go online uh, upload or download personally um, I've seen a lot of people that just immediately download uh, some people up choose to upload I like to go online just to verify especially if I've had a communicate uh, communication problem or I question my communications I like to go online right and before what I do is I go online, go on online just to detect, basically detect the current status of my processor. So if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see it's in run mode. It's in remote run. So I can download if I want to. I can upload. I can download. 
uh, I have plenty of options. In this case, I'm just going to download. Uh, and this gives me the ability to download to my processor. Now, again, when it comes down to it, uh, some people will just choose to download. Some people will just choose to uh, upload or whatever the case may be. Your uh, Every situation is going to be different. But conductivity and showing when the buttons are grayed out or maybe even having conductivity issues where you're trying to download or upload or go even go online with your PLC processor. Now we're currently online so we can see all the, the stuff that we currently have. Um, you see I have all my process running. Um, I have everything in here and everything is actually scanning. So uh, when it comes down to it, um, well, we have successfully downloaded to our processor. Now again, when it comes to the Who Active, that's about the best practice you can do. Uh, a lot of people choose to just use the tab over here. Let's go offline. They, used, they like to use the tab go online, upload or download, but that's assuming that you already have great conductivity. That's assuming that you don't have any communication problems. And it's, it's making a large assumption that you really can avoid. I, I would assume if, if you don't, you know, just in case you run into anything, you can avoid that by going to communications, who active, verifying everything in RS links matches up perfectly, and then making sure your buttons are, are active. Now, if you choose to just download from this point, um, you can, uh, there's nothing stopping you from that. You can download directly from that point. You do not have to just go online like I did and do the same exact process. Um, I'm just showing you different uh, things you can possibly do and things that I've ran into this helped, right? Because sometimes those buttons are grayed out and if they're grayed out, you just need to shut down your Studio 5000 process um, or your Studio 5000 uh, software, like you would shut it down over here and then open it back up. At that point in time, uh, you should open it back up, go online and see the buttons and be perfectly fine. So hopefully that answered that and helped that, that question get answered and maybe even gave you a couple little troubleshooting tips. Again, uh, with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.